Hi, today I am going to make black eyed Susan. A very pretty meadow flowers. Material required are crepe papers in green, yellow, and dark brown, a thick wire for stem, some cotton wool and green floral tip. The stencils and measurements are given at the end of video. Take the piece for the center, the semicircle, and on the straight side, just stretch the paper. The idea is not to curl it, just to make the paper soft than it is. So this is what it looks like. Now just apply glue till halfway point on the paper and then just fold over and make a cone and press the paper just pull it a bit while you are sticking so it becomes an even circle this is what it looks like even if you get a hole here doesn't matter now take some cotton wool about this much and put it inside the cone then apply glue on the edge of the cone Take a thick wire, put it in the center of the wool so it sits in the, on top of the wire and then just bring the ends together. Hold the top and push the paper a bit so slightly forming a, a flat pyramid. And twist the paper to make it sturdy. So this is what it looks like. Now take a pencil and just press down, press the top inside. So you'll get a depression. Take the strip for the stamen, fold it in half and half again and then make very tiny cuts on it so just like and leave a little edge at the on one side just make fine cuts on it like this now just open it out so you get a fine fringe like this apply glue on the base and stick this on the center that we made so stick it all around if you want to cover the whole thing you can start from slightly uh, you know from the top and then go down so here I'm just going to just wind it around the base of the center like this now with your finger just press down the stamen like this just like sort of knock it so it becomes a little bushy and bristly and this is what you get 
Now take the strip for the petals, fold it in half and then half again. First cut one side, the fold, now give petal shapes on it, so they are slightly wide on the top side and then you take it down to a taper and you do the same thing on the other side. So you get a petal shape like this. So just cut along the whole strip when you get come to the folded side just cut out the shape halfway so you get a shape like this now just open it out and cut out all these triangles in the middle of each petal like this After you remove the triangles in the middle of each petal, take a slightly blunt but pointed object like I have taken the edge of the scissors and just score in the middle of each petal. Just score lines, 2-3 lines on the petal. And this is, you get lines like this. Apply glue on the base of the petals and stick this below the center. So slightly below the, the stamen that we stuck. So just stick it below that. while you are winding the petals just make sure that each petals petal comes you know in the gap of the other petal not behind any other petal so it will look like a daisy like this This is what you get. Now take the piece for the sepal, fold it in half and half again. Now cut out this, you know, like thin staples on it. So they will be slightly pointed. At on one on the top and then leave a base here so this is what it get Open it out. This is what you get. Now apply glue on the base. And wind this on the base of the flower. Okay, I left a little space here. Just stick it in the base of the flower. So 
so this is what you get now take the leaves and with again with a pointed object just score veins on it Take the green tape, take out a long length from it. Stretch the tape and start winding it from the base of the flower. You have to sort of apply glue here. Normally you don't use glue with the green tape but since the base is slightly tapered the tape just slips off so you have to apply a little glue and then wind it bring it down Take a leaf, let's say after a gap of 4 inches, just take a leaf and wind the tape on its base. Take another one, just open out the leaf the leaves when you put them at the base of the flower suppose you want them here then they would be more rounded you know slightly bigger like this now take the scissors and hold the base of the flower and then just curl out the petals downwards you may have to position some petals to fill up the gap and this is how your black eyed susan would look All the measurements are in centimeter. This is the stencil for the center. This is 3.5 centimeter or high and 6 centimeter, you know, the base. Cut one piece. This is actually a circle but slightly longer. This is for the stamen. This is 9 centimeter long and 0.75 centimeter wide. Cut one piece. This is for the petal. This is 5 centimeter high and 18 centimeter wide cut one piece this is for the sepal this is 3 centimeter high and 8 centimeter long again cut one piece this is for the leaf this is 9 centimeter by 3.5 centimeter and the stem is 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter cut as many as you like